So you want to grow an email list alongside your Squarespace website, but which email marketing tool should you be using? Squarespace has its own native email marketing service that you can add on to your subscription, but is this actually going to be the best tool for your needs? The other email marketing tool that I use and recommend to clients is Flowdesk, but in this video, I'm going to talk you through the pros and cons of each and what uses each one is best for. So first of all, what is Flowdesk? It's a third party email marketing tool that is completely separate to Squarespace that allows you to collect email addresses, grow an email list, add sign up forms to any website builder and send email newsletters, promotions, automations, and all of that stuff that you need. Flowdesk is relatively new to the email marketing scene compared to some other tools out there, but it's really great specifically for people in creative industries because it's so visual and so intuitive to use. Meanwhile, what is Squarespace email campaigns? This is what they call their email marketing add-on that you can add onto your website. This allows you to easily add email signup forms to your Squarespace website that is actually collecting email addresses and storing it on Squarespace, where you can then send them newsletters and automations as well. So because Squarespace's email campaigns is a native feature to Squarespace, all you have to do is add a newsletter block to your website pages and tell that newsletter block to add subscribers to one of your lists. And you can access subscriber information and create newsletters and create automations all from within the Squarespace dashboard. Meanwhile, Flowdesk makes it really easy to add its sign up forms and connect to any website builder, including Squarespace. All you have to do is create the forms inside Flowdesk, and then it's going to give you two snippets of code. One is to paste one time into your website header code area. And then the other one is a snippet of code that is specific to that sign up form that you've created. And you just paste that into a code block anywhere on your website where you want it to appear. And the great thing is if you edit or update any of the forms within Flowdesk, they will automatically update on your Squarespace website. So you don't have to change or edit the code at any point either. So even though Squarespace email campaigns is definitely the easiest way to add a sign up form to your pages, Flowdesk makes it pretty easy as well with the code snippets. So when it comes to pricing, if we're basing it on you paying a monthly subscription for either of these tools. So let's look at the pricing comparison between these two tools based on if you were paying a monthly subscription for them. One of the unique selling points about Flowdesk is that they have a fixed fee subscription. So no matter how many subscribers you have on your list or how many emails you want to send, you only pay a flat fee. Most, if not every other email marketing tool on the market will increase your monthly fees depending on how many subscribers you have or how many emails you want to send. So if you have a large list, Flowdesk is going to save you a lot of money. It costs $38 per month, but if you sign up using my link or you use my code, you can save 50%, making it only $19 per month for your first year, no matter how many subscribers you have. I'll leave my link in the video description below. Meanwhile, Squarespace does have this kind of price range available for their different plans. They have a very cheap beginner's plan, which starts at $7 per month, but it's quite limited. It only lets you send 500 emails across three different campaigns um, and it doesn't offer any automations. Their other plans range from $14 per month to $68 per month, again, depending on how many subscribers you have and how many emails you want to send to them. So while beginners may not want to spend as much per month on the Flowdesk plan, it definitely is the best value when you consider that it is going to be sustainable for your growing list and not charge you anymore. Whereas Squarespace's email campaigns will charge you as your list grows, but is a great option for beginners who don't want to spend too much. In terms of the design, Flowdesk is generally known as the industry's leading in terms of their beautiful, easy to design emails. You don't need any code or graphic design experience because they have so many different templates and layout blocks that you can add to your emails that look beautiful. And it's all done within a drag and drop editor as well. Squarespace email campaigns have a similar drag and drop editor and they do also have lots of templates for you to choose from, which makes their emails a lot easier than some other email marketing platforms on the market. But in comparison to Flowdesk, I find the design options very limited. It feels a little bit clunkier. There aren't so many different types of designed blocks that you can add to the email emails. So as a designer, my preference is definitely Flowdesk. So this is when you want to send emails automatically by having like a welcome sequence or send out opt-in freebies um, to people who are signing up to your list or creating more complex sales funnels. These are all done within automations and Flowdesk calls these workflows. These automations are really intuitive to set up and you can add some quite complex conditions and have lots of multiple steps within these automations, which is great. Meanwhile, Squarespace does allow you to have automations, but they are very basic and they only allow you to have one step within the automation, which is quite frustrating. However, if you are using Squarespace's e-commerce tools, you can set up automated emails based on your customer activity, like how much they've spent or if they've purchased a certain product, which is a huge bonus 
for if you are selling products on your Squarespace site. When it comes to integrating with other tools, for example, you might want to add um, your course students from Teachable to your email marketing software, or you might want to be able to connect your CRM software with your email marketing software. Flowdesk connects with a tool called Zapier, which is an automation software that connects lots of different tools from around the web, which opens up hundreds of different options for you to connect Flowdesk to other tools. So it makes it really easy. Meanwhile, Squarespace email campaigns does not connect to Zapier and it doesn't have any other integration options. So that is a big downfall. In terms of email analytics and understanding more data about your email, Flowdesk has really in-depth analytics for the individual emails that you send out, plus detailed analytics about all of your automated email sequences in your workflows area as well. You can get really granular and see data about the specific emails within each of your workflow steps. Plus it has a whole analytics section, which gives you a broader overview about your subscriber behavior and you're able to compare performance between different emails and things like that. Meanwhile, Squarespace emails analytics are very basic. You literally just get the essentials. You can see how many um, emails have been delivered, how many people have subscribed and how many people have opened. Currently, I don't even think you can see how many people have clicked a link in any of the emails, which is really frustrating. And there's no kind of overview analytics area either. So when it comes to integrating to Squarespace's e-commerce, if you have an online shop on your Squarespace website, this is a really important one. If you're using Flowdesk as your email marketing software, you cannot connect this to your Squarespace e-commerce information, orders and customer information and things like that. If you wanted to add customer information from Squarespace, such as their email addresses, things information about what they've bought, you would have to export this from Squarespace and manually upload it into Flowdesk. If you wanted this to all happen automatically, you would need to subscribe to a paid plan with Zapier as well, which obviously then increases the overall expense. And you'd have to set up some quite complex automations in there in order to make them talk to each other. Meanwhile, Squarespace email campaigns, because it is all built within Squarespace, connects very seamlessly with Squarespace's e-commerce options. You can add products automatically to your emails, and you can also set up automations based on customer behavior, such as how much they've spent or what products they bought, which is obviously a huge bonus. So in conclusion, what are the pros and cons of Flowdesk? They have their transparent fixed pricing, which is great if you've got a growing list, it's easy to design beautiful emails in there. It's also easy to set up powerful automations with multiple steps, access amazing in-depth analytics and integrate with hundreds of other tools across the web. However, there's no free or cheaper plan for beginners to try out with, and it does not connect automatically to Squarespace's e-commerce without an expensive and more complicated additional tool. Now, I personally use and love Flowdesk because it has everything that I personally need in my business. So this is who I think it works great for because the cons that I just mentioned don't really apply to you. So if you are a creative service-based business and you want to easily create beautiful emails, Flowdesk is amazing for this. If you have an existing email list that's already growing and you want to save some money in the long run with that fixed price, Flowdesk is the perfect option. If you're keen to properly invest in email marketing for the long term as well, that fixed price, if you're just a beginner, is not going to put you off because you want to invest in this as a solid marketing avenue for yourself. And if you're using other tools, like course platforms, CRMs and other things like that, and you want to be able to connect to your email marketing, then you need to not be using Squarespace uh, email campaigns at the moment. So what are the pros and cons of Squarespace email campaigns? The pros are that they do have those cheaper plans for beginners. It's all set up and managed within Squarespace, including all the billing too. So everything is in one place and it does integrate very seamlessly with Squarespace e-commerce, which is a huge plus if you have an online shop on Squarespace. Meanwhile, the cons are, I personally think that email designs are a bit clunky. That may not bother some people as much as it bothers me. And um, the analytics are extremely basic and the automations are extremely basic. So if you want to create multiple step automations, this may not be the best option. And it's also not able to integrate with other tools very easily. But if you are a product based business or you're using Squarespace's e-commerce feature and you want to be able to send out automated emails that are specific for certain products and certain customers, then Squarespace email campaigns does make that so much easier. And I would definitely recommend that you need this versus Flowdesk, although you could always use both um, depending on your budget. Um, and also if you are just dipping your toes into email marketing, you don't want to spend too much to begin with, 
Squarespace email campaigns does have those cheaper plans for you to play around with. So I hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And remember, you can get 50% off your first year with Flowdesk if you sign up using my link or using my code. And I'll leave all the information that you need in the video description. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next week with another video.